Interesting name. Kipasta. A little business in IB. It looks kind of cool. Whoops. It's a little pasta place. Look at that. I'm going to have to check that out. Kipasta. <laughs> I'm checking it out right now. So it's right on the corner of 13th and Don't Ax. Don't Ax, Don't Tell. And uh, <laughs> they've done some pretty cool stuff with the street signs down here in IB. So this may be the uh, beginning of a, you know, revitalization of the area. Very nice, actually. Beautiful tiled uh, driveways, nice bit of shrubbery, La Monty Python, a nice little wood deck here. And I'll go in and talk to the people. I wonder what the it's food's like. It's a piece of heaven, actually, in Imperial Beach. It's in a rough area and some, but look at this little place. It's kind of like, you know, upscale little bistro sandwich place right in, on the corner of 13th and Donax in Imperial Beach. I did not know it was here. And I'm going to speak with the owner in a minute. She's going to tell us all about it. Hi, what's your name? I'm um, Annie. What's your uh, business here, Annie? Well, we make fresh pasta from scratch. Um, we have really fun, unique pastas um, and sauces that go with it. And you call it que pasta? Que pasta. <laughs> touch of Spanish? Touch of Italian? A little bit of everything. We have curry, we have a, we have a spicy roasted pepper pasta. Um, we have no boundaries, really. Super cool. Um, you know, I've never seen a pasta shop. Is there, uh, is there another one somewhere? Um, not so much. There's, um, there's one in Pacific Beach yeah. that's been there for a long time, but... Your little idea is more like upscale, kind of. Yeah, we do a lot of organic products. Um, in fact, a lot of our pastas are organic. The pumpkin one is, and we have a multi-grain that's made with organic flowers. You know, it looks like it's an expensive place, and I wondered how, what's the clientele down here? And it's a working class area, and you've kind of like oh, got a... It is working class, um, but our prices are pretty... Reasonable. Inex yeah, reasonable. Yeah, I'll look at the board in a minute, but... Um, <clears throat> It seems to me like you should be in Coronado or Beverly Hills or somewhere. Oh, we get people from Coronado. Yeah? Yeah, we do. No, but I mean, it seems like this business would be more, you know, appropriate for an upscale community. But right. no offense, I don't mean it like that. I just mean it's like very, very cool to yeah. have it here. Well, we live here, so we wanted a place to come that, that we like. That uh, that's what I love to hear. A little business that a family started and it's home. Uh, cooking or yes. home, whatever it is, but it's a family. Well, this is not just a little business. This is an actual mom and pop. You bought the property and you actually live here. Uh, we live in town, yes. Yeah, that's what I mean. You, you, but you yeah. own the property yes. and you live in the community. Yes. And that's a substantial business that will last uh, rather than a manager for a chain store who doesn't really have that much vested interest. This is your business. It's your. It's wonderful. I'm very happy to see it. So. I'm going to bring some people in here and yeah, show them. Cards. Spread these cards out. Yeah, now, that'd be great. I know a lot of people would like to try it. Uh, that one's um, angel hair with a beef ragu. Angel hair, wonderful. You want me to run this? And a nice little green salad I'll with it. With you. So nice. what, what does that go for? This is seven ninety-five. The whole thing. The whole thing. That's great. That's wonderful. Yeah. Well, there you are. Over here, they got some cool little meatballs. You're cooking them up there, huh? Yeah. All right. So it really looks like homemade stuff, and it really is. A, when you got the owner involved, it's beautiful. And look at that homemade dessert, vanilla ice cream, mm. an ice cream sandwich, root beer, and an orange cream floats. I gotta have one of those. Look at that pumpkin, chocolate chip, and pecan ice cream sandwich. Holy! Try our sausage sandwich and add sausage to pasta. Mmm, I've got to do that too. Look at the prices. Six ninety-five. That's mighty good. What did you get today, lad? Well, I got the ragu uh, beef. And uh, this has been open just a few months. And you've how long you've been coming here? That's, I came in about six weeks ago. I've been coming back once a week. No kidding. I believe the pasta is so fresh. Real and it's real food, organic. I love yeah. it. Nice little salad to go with it and a little drink. Right. And, and inexpensive too, huh? Right. Around ten bucks and you got lunch or dinner. That's great. Ah, lunch and dinner. Good yeah. plug that is because it's filling, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Yeah. Well that's great. Wonderful little pasta place here. Thank you very much, sir. What's your name? Larry. All right, Larry, thank you.